Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are going to continue talking about comparing and contrasting. So remember, comparing is when we have things that are the same and contrasting is when we talk about how they're different. So comparing, we talk about how things are the same and contrasting, we talk about how things are different. So let's read our articles about iPods and iPads and then we'll talk about how, th how they are the same and how they're different iPods. An iPod is a small piece of technology. It is called an MP3 player. MP3s are digital music files. iPods have changed a lot since they first came out. The first iPod was very large. Over the years, they have gotten much smaller. The smallest iPod is around one inch wide and one inch tall. To hear the music, people plug in headphones to use. They listen to music while working, exercising, studying, and more. Then the article on iPad says, technology has changed a lot over time. A very popular type of technology used today is the iPad. An iPad is a tablet which acts as a computer but is the size of a small book iPads may be tiny pieces of technology, but they can do a lot. When they have an internet connection, people can search the web, check their emails, or talk with friends, and more. Okay, so if we're looking for the way these two things are the same, I noticed up here that it says it's a small piece of technology or it's a piece of technology, actually. Let's look at that first. So a piece of technology, and then down here for iPads, it also says is a type of technology. So we know that iPads and iPods are both technology. Then if we look in our article again, I see that they also say that it is small for iPods, and iPads are also the size of a small book. So that's two ways in which iPods and iPads are the same, how we can compare them. The contrasting part is how they're different. So when we look at iPods, we see that people use them to hear music. So they use them to hear music, that's what they do. When it, you have an iPad, you can do many things with an iPad. You can search the web, you can check your emails, you can talk with friends, and more. So they don't even tell us all the different things that you can do with an iPad. So that is ways in which they are different. If we were to name them all separately, we could list all these things separately for iPads. But for an iPod, you really can only listen to music. So thank you for listening to our story today, and we'll see you again soon. Have a good day.